How's it going guys? SH Gaming 599 and guys, we have received another update on the infected version 11.3 guys. 11.3. That is awesome. It's a full update on the electrical system. I am hyped. I hope you guys are as well. Guys, I will add timestamp to this video. Reason is because I will split the video in two parts first part i will go through all the updates all the latest stuff that it has been added to this um, to this game and the second is this a actual demo of the electrical system so guys if you're interested only only in the demo you can skip ahead timestamps are added make sure to check that out so let's start with the first part all right guys let's start with part one hey everyone while today's update pushes a few bug fixes and a new building piece i know what this is and it is awesome you guys will love it you guys will love this it's mainly aimed to add rolling out some changes to the mechanics of our electrical system awesome a word of advice folks a word of advice the first time you log into uh, patch 11.3, all powered objects will be powered off. Meaning that if you have any fridges, all the good stuff, make sure to check your fridges because they will be powered off. Meaning that if you have food inside and it's about to spoil, make sure to eat it. Why? It's better to put it in your belly than to just let it spoil. So yeah, that's very a very important piece of information right there. All right, so let's get started. Update to the electrical system. So to make things easier for players to identify their powered object, there will be a new UI that prompts for name input as the item is constructed. These names can always be changed via the junction box at a later point. Junction box, I will get to it, but for now, just know that once you add any type of object, electrical object, onto the world, it will pop this uh, name over here, uh, input box over here, that you can enter the name of anything that you're constructing, and uh, that is it. And you can see these name into your junction box. All right, to the next update, a wall switch. You guys know what this is. It's quite easy to understand. It basically toggles on and off the power uh, to any object. Yeah, that's basically its usage. Uh, to construct this, you will need one iron ingot, one copper ingot, and four screws. Quite easy. Not that expensive. Junction box. What is it? It's a box that controls powered objects, either singular items or a group of items. What does that mean? That means, guys, as you can see over here in this example, meaning that a two, we have two ceiling lamps and a fridge which are by, which are connected to a single junction box. Now, why is this important? Okay, this is important because you can pair a wall switch with the junction box to toggle power on or off. That's correct. Meaning if you pair this with a wall switch, if you turn power off, all these items will be turned off and vice versa wiring so how do i wire my components well guys for that you will need two things first you will need the upgrade tool and the second it's the actual wire itself i will show you guys in a second how to make those wires but just know that you will know, need those two things now while using the upgrade tool meaning that you will have you will need to have your upgrade tool out press e at the power source or component to start a wire connection. So this basically means have your upgrade tool out, look at a power source. In this case, this is a control panel. Look at your control panel, press E. You will see that a wire will be connected here. You will actually see that. Now to wire, you look at another, your second component, which could be a light, a fridge, a anything. In this case, it's a uh, real uh, junction box, sorry. So look at your junction box. Once you look at it, you will see that a, you will see a green outline on the wire itself. This means that you can actually connect to this. So you will need to press E again to connect. So have your upgrade tool out. Look at your control, your source, uh, power source. Press E. It will actually link your, uh, your cable here, your wire. Look at your second component. It, if it's green, it's outlined green. Press E again to connect. 
That's simple as that. Now, two things you note. First, you can only have one power in multiple outs. Second, if you want to cancel wires, to cancel, all you have to do is look at your component with your upgrade tool out and you will need to click the right mouse button. So for example, if I want to delete these two wires over here, I will look at my junction box, mouse, uh, have my upgrade tool out, mouse right button, and it will pop me a message. Do you want to delete wires? Click on yes, and that's it. Note, you will get the wires back in your inventory. So that's something really, really awesome. Now, for the wire itself, you will, for one single wire, you will need one copper, one plastic, and one oil can. And obviously, there's a bulk recipe, which is awesome. That, that is it. That's how easy you wire stuff, guys. Relays, what are they? Well, they are new electrical components, which lets you extend the range of a wire between components. They do not work with control panels only with junction box or components. Meaning that you can either link these guys to a junction box or to, for example, a fridge, oil pump, water house, and all the good stuff. Control panels. So guys, there's been a total redone of the control panel UI. This looks beautiful. I love it. But thanks to notice, players will no longer see any component listed here. Instead, you will see the junction boxes listed. And what's even better is that you can control these junction uh, junction boxes if they get powered or not via these uh, buttons over here. <laughs> this is awesome. One thing I would add, it's maybe an expander over here, like click here, the, an expander uh, that will allow us to see what components are wired to this junction box that would be so cool last but not the least building items guys frequently asked corner railings are here yes yes many 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 players including myself have asked this please put some corner railings and man we asked this dev provided this dev is just Awesome. So there's been uh, also some changes and bug fixes, uh, basically some loca localization changes and fixes. Oil lamps could not be placed on objects like tables, chests, or after a game reload. Tooltips for seeds was still displaying 65% drop rate. Some floating bushes near the swamp are fixed. Loom could not be placed on a glass ceiling. Wire to drop loot list of POIs. Hey guys, welcome to the actual demo of the new electrical system. So, remember, we do need to get wires for this to actual, actually work. So, I have 15 wires already crafted and I already have my upgrade tool, which you also need for that. Under the book icon, placeables, power you will see all the new components for the new electrical system so i will start by making a control panel as usual there we go and this is the new ui how it looks looks very nice very cool beautiful colors love it but right now it does nothing we have number of panels one for solar we have 55 wind turbines uh one battery but actually nothing is happening all right, I will make a stone grinder because it's just easier to see a stone grinder grinder working there. And don't forget, each time you place components, it will ask for a name. So I will name him stone grinder number one. Accept. Cool. Looking good. I will actually grab a couple of stuff and put it inside. Why not? Okay. Now, I will pull out my upgrade tool, look at my control panel. If you try to link this to the, as you can see, there's a wire coming out, but if you try to wire your, your stone grinder, it won't work. As you can see, I'm trying, it doesn't work. So for that, you will actually need to get a junction box. So you will place down a junction box here there we go. You will actually need to connect your control panel to 
a junction box. Note that the wire has been linked but not placed. Meaning that this actually tells you that the green means go. It's good to go. You can actually uh, wire the connection to it. So I will press E again to wire. Once you have your upgrade tool in uh, upgrade upgrade tool out, you will actually see the flow of the power. Which which direction does the power flow? So this one it goes from the control panel to the junction box. If you remove your upgrade tool, it just looks a black wire as normal. All right. So now from here, I can actually wire my grinder, stone grinder. There we go. And what you have to do is come to your control panel and maybe not have your upgrade tool open. And here you go, guys. Junction box. And do, can I name this? Can I name this? Junction box number one. And here is the stone grinder. You can actually rename this for, I don't know, SG number one, stone grinder number one. There we go. And there we go, SG number one on the bottom left of the screen. You can actually see it. Awesome. This is awesome. I love it. And you can even see here your junction box number one. So I will, as you, uh, by default, each time you add a junction box, it's always off. You need to turn this on. And here we go. So now, if you notice on the bottom left of the screen, our actual uh, our stone grinder actually works. Awesome. But now the thing is, guys, I actually have to come to my control panel and turn it off to make this thing go off or turn it on if I need to turn it on. That's a pro that's an issue for me. I don't want that. Like for example, I want my control panel to go somewhere else inside over here for example and i want my grinder here i don't want to go to my control panel and turn off the grinder it's gonna it's gonna be such an issue so for that what i can utilize is power i can use a wall switch so i will place a wall switch here and this is switch stone oops switch stone grinder number one there we go accept so i will place that looking cool awesome so from here i can mouse right button to my grinder i delete the wires if you if i delete it from here both wires will be deleted for example i show you guys in a second here to here now if i look here mouse right button confirm both of these wires are gone so e to wire green means go e again to wire awesome i can take e again here it has a wire i will put to my switch here so this means that now this junction box is controlled by this switch right now it does nothing because i mean i can turn it off on and off it won't do anything because nothing is connected to this junction box we have nothing here it only has a switch which this should be stone but whatever so yeah nothing here so i can actually connect my junction box again to my stone grinder and there we go so now i should be able to see my stone grinder over here okay so is this working? It's working. As you can see on the bottom left of the screen, 15 seconds, 14 seconds, and so on and so forth. I can actually come here, flip this off. Look at, look at this. It's off. Isn't this awesome? All right, that's looking cool. Now, let me place down a ceiling. Come on. Let me upgrade the ceiling. Cool. So what I will do here, I will actually place others... Uh, sorry, uh, uh, placeables, others, nope, furniture, yes. I will place three lights. I will place one here. Light one. I will place another one here. This is light two. I will place another one here. And this is light three. Accept, cool. Now, I will wire 
from a junction box to these uh, to these lights so let me do that e so that's one e that's two e again and that's three there we go now look at this i will turn this on boom my lights are lit in by this junction box by and controlled by this switch i can flip it off to undo them now the problem is i want my grinder to work all the time i don't want it to stop i have to well i want this switch actually to only turn off my grinder not my lights so for that i have two options I can actually delete everything over here and redo a connection in here, in here, and in here. There we go. So now my connection for this switch is only to this grinder, meaning that I can turn this on and it works. But my lights are off. So what I will do, I will actually place down another junction box. So don't forget, junction box are used to connect a single item or a group of items together this means that i can actually do something like this now four get my hammer out from here to here i can do this i can do this i can do this so now if i go to my control panel and i turn on this these lights are on all the time well, I again, I want to manage this by a switch because, you know, I sometimes I don't like it like the lights all the time on because it uses powers. For example, I want them on only on night, for example. Well, that could be done easily by doing power with a switch and you can make a switch here. From here, you will add this like, for example, switch lights, except so this means I can grab a wire from this junction box to a switch a wall switch now the thing is you won't be able to get a a output from a switch light uh, sorry a wall switch i am pressing e from here it's always where the power blows for example if i try to wire a junction box to a control panel it doesn't work as you can see i'm trying does not link so you always have to go with the flow of the power. So from a junction box to lights or to a uh, wall switch. There we go. So now these lights will be flipped on or off depending on this switch. Boom. There we go. Without affecting this bad boy. Let me just put down a couple of stuff in here just so we know it works. There we go. See this? This is working properly. These are off, but this is working. I can flip this off as you can see this is no more working and I can flip these on this is working cool and if I flip this on this is working awesome all right now the wiring system looks pretty disgusting here doesn't it I don't like it I personally don't like this so what I'm going to do I will be utilizing what we're calling here relays Relays is basically um, are used to extend the range of a wire, but they also can be used to um, beautify a bit your wires. Let me show you guys that in a second. So I will remove this. I will put a wire from here to here, here to here. So this will this junction box is controlled by this switch. Now, what I will be doing, I will be putting down a couple of power relay so i will put a relay what i can do here with my relay i can place one relay here another one let me go this way i can place one maybe here one on this side one on this side so now press e onto your relay link to your lights same thing over here same thing over here so now I can do something like this. I can bring these guys back to my main box. Now the problem here, you guys will no notice something. I will place here, then from here, I can place it down to my junction box, but uh oh, I can't. Don't forget the flow of the power. A control panel 
to a junction box, a junction box to a switch, or a relay. Don't forget that. You can actually pull a wire from a relay to a um, switch, but that doesn't work because if I do that, I will lose my connection from uh, my junction box. Let me show you guys that. If I do this, boom, I lost, I just lost my connection. So if I try to do it again, I can pull a wire from a switch a, over here. I can try pressing E, doesn't work. So definitely from a junction box to a switch, but I lost my other wire. So from a junction box to the relay, redo that connection again and again. Uh, whoops. Can I? Thank you. Oh, this one. Thank you. From here, can I grab you? Can I grab you? Thank you. And from you, I can go here. There we go. So now it's looking good. So it's always start from the power and then work your way to the, your components, not the back way that I did before. Uh, it was just to show you the example. I, I actually did it backwards because I wanted to show you be, uh, the flow of the power. You have to work towards the flow of the power, not against it. So now that everything is hooked, let me try this. Turn on. They are turned on. And from here, it's not working. So that's that's okay. Actually, it's not working because don't forget, this one is actually controlled by this junction box with from this switch. So I will turn this switch on and look at this. It's working. How amazing. So yeah, that's uh, the whole power system and how it actually works. So you can daisy chain stuff like this. You can even go to the poles. You can actually make yourself poles for example let me show you guys that quickly others for example this and this let's make it i don't know here here come on here and here too i don't know here can i please can you please thank you wow that's so annoying okay so now i will need a ceiling well i'll try it i try it like that it doesn't work well what can i say so what you can do is use your relays yeah it doesn't work right unless i have to flip yeah, okay, now it works. So I can do this. Where's the other one? Till here. Add another one here. There we go. So now, and I forgot this one. Take out your hammer. And hopefully, you're able to grab that wire. Grab that wire. Grab that. <laughs> fine, fine. It's all right. I can do this all right so i have the wire i can put it here from here i can put it here and bring bring it to wherever i want so these uh, could be like huge poles um going to one end to another something of sort looks good right looks epic looks amazing hope you find this video useful if you did please hit that thumbs up button it's really really appreciated and if you're new do subscribe to the channel i am sh gaming 599 till next time guys